This is Sergeant Norglosh of the House Linkage, part of the Crimson Knight Fleet, and a member of the Klinjaw Warriors of Kag. Today, I will be talking to you about the pieces used in Klinjaw and showing you how they move around on the board. Let's start by taking a quick glance at what the pieces are and what they may look like. We will start with the blockader. Think of the blockader as a wall. While it cannot kill enemy pieces and cannot carry the goal, it also cannot be killed. The version shown on the left is the authorized style, whereas the one on the right is the classic. The blockader also has an area around it called the zone of control, which is perfect for protecting other pieces so long as they themselves are not carrying the goal. Next, we'll look at the fencer. The fencer has a medium range attack and can carry the goal. As with the blockader, the authorized style is on the left, the classic on the right. These are the different styles of the flyer. The flyer has the longest range of any piece, and it is therefore a smart strategy to keep your flyer alive as long as possible, as well as to neutralize your opponent's flyers quickly. The flyer is the only piece that can ignore other pieces when moving. Here we see the lancer. Another medium range piece, though it is a little less mobile than the fencer, as it can only move in straight lines. This is the swift. Although a highly mobile medium range piece, the swift cannot carry the goal. Finally, we have the vanguard. This is the weakest of all the pieces with a move of only a single space at a time. At this point, let's take a closer look and see some examples of how the pieces can move around on the board. We will begin again with the blockader. Before we look at the movement of this piece, this first illustration shows a triangle drawn around the spaces immediately adjacent to the space occupied by the blockader. This triangle indicates the zone of control that was mentioned earlier. Your pieces can sit inside this zone as long as they are not in possession of the goal. Also note. No enemy piece, with the exception of the flyer, can move through the zone of control, and no enemy piece may end its move within its boundaries. Two zones of control are not allowed to overlap. Now for movement. As you can see from this illustration, the blockader can move one to two spaces at a time. From where the blockader is in the picture, the pink spaces show each of the possible spaces that it could move to, assuming no other pieces are occupying the spaces along the way. Next, we look again at the fencer. The fencer moves one to three spaces at a time and in any direction. Now onto the flyer. As you can see, the flyer can move quite a long way. The flyer moves anywhere from three to six spaces at a time. However, this movement must be in a straight line from the starting position. You will notice that there are a number of paths that do not extend a full six spaces because the edge of the board is reached. As a matter of fact, there is no space on the board from which the flyer can move its maximum number of spaces in every direction. There is always a path that is shortened. Let's move on now to the Lancer. Like the Fencer, the Lancer moves one to three spaces at a time. However, as is shown here, there are fewer possible spaces that it can move to, because unlike the Fencer, it can only move in a straight line. The next piece to look at is the Swift. The swift moves two to four spaces on its turn, so while it cannot capture a piece that is directly adjacent to it, it has got a fairly good range for attacking pieces that are further away. Like the fencer, the swift can move in any direction. Unlike the fencer, however, the swift cannot carry the goal. Again, finally, is the vanguard. As was stated earlier, the vanguard is the least mobile of all pieces in Klinja, as it can only move a measly one space at a time. And that just about does it for movement of pieces in Klinjaw. Watch for more Klinjaw quickies coming in the future, and check out our full-length Klinjaw 101 videos. Kapla!